I'm doing another tutorial for you guys today and I'm really bringing the drama, kind of bringing it back old school, only my technique has kind of changed. Well, not kind of. I think personally my techniques in applying my makeup has changed a lot, but I'm still bringing back the drama, you know, drama eyes, drama lips, you know, and one hell of a highlight. So without any further ado, if you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you gotta do. So of course I already applied my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion and I applied it all over my lid, in my crease, on my brow bone and underneath my lower lash line. Then next I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Face Powder in NC45 and I will be applying that in my crease first with a uh, taper blending brush by Sugar Pill. As always, this is going to help me create an even canvas to work on and it's going to help me blend out my other eyeshadows. For the next eyeshadow or first eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Diamond FX Brown Matte Eyeshadow and I will be applying that all over my lid first with a 239 eyeshadow brush by MAC. I'm mostly stippling and swiping on the product to get the most color payoff. Next, I'm also going to apply that right underneath my lower lash line with that same eyeshadow brush. And to, you know, blend out the harsh line, I'm going to use a 217 blending brush by MAC to blend out that eyeshadow into my crease with windshield wiper motions mostly. The next eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Flame Point and it's by Sugar Pill Cosmetics and I will be applying that with a 217 blending brush by MAC. And I'm applying that right above that brown eyeshadow I applied before. And I'm really packing on that color. Like this is old school Nemisa style. I'm really packing on that color using windshield wiper motions again. And the next eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Enigma. And it's an eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics. And I'm taking another 217 blending brush by MAC. And I'm applying that right in my crease where that brown eyeshadow and flame point eyeshadow meet. Kind of a gradient effect. And again, don't be afraid to pack on that eyeshadow. Now I'm also applying that right underneath that brown eyeshadow I applied underneath my lower lash line and connecting it with the top part. Next, I'm going to use June Bug Pigment by Sugar Pill Cosmetics and I will be applying that with a 213 brush by MAC and I dipped that brush in a little bit of water and then I mixed the pigment together. And as you can see, I'm applying that right on the center of my eyelid, right on top of that brown eyeshadow. I love the way this looks. Then I'm taking that same eyeshadow and I'm applying it right underneath my lower lash line in the same style, only underneath my lower lash line, if you get what I mean. Next, I'm going to use that shade right there and it's of the Makeup Revolution London Ultra Blush Palette called Golden Sugar. They don't have any names for the shades. And I'm applying that right on my tear duct with a concealer brush by Royal Langnickel. And then with my ring finger, I'm softly blending it out. So to open up my eyes a little bit, sort of say, I'm going to use an NYX eye slash eyebrow pencil in white and I'm going to apply that right there on my lower waterline. And of course next I'm going to use my trusty Catrice liquid liner in Dating Joe Black and I'm just going to apply a small eyeliner or small winged eyeliner. And after I did this, I forgot that I wanted to darken up the look a little bit more. So I'm going to use the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Eyeshadow and a 286 brush. And I'm just going to apply that right there on the outer part of my eye. So in my crease a little bit. After I've done that, I'm going to apply my false lashes as always off camera. I do have a separate video listed below in the information box. For the lashes I'm going to wear here, it's not a surprise. These are the Ardell Wispies and Demi Wispies stacked on top of each other. But for now, let's continue doing the rest of my face. So I already prepped my skin, now I'm going to apply my Kryolan TV Paint Stick in the shade Chinese and I'm going to apply this on the center of my face. Once I've done that, I'm going to use the Kryolan TV Paint Stick in the shade Lin, L-I-N, and apply that on the perimeter of my face. I sped up this process because you guys seen me do this a hundred times already, so, you know. Now I'm gonna take a beauty blender and I'm gonna blend everything out. Same for this part, I kinda sped it up because, you know, it's taking a lot of time and, again, you've seen me do this part hundreds of times. Next, I'm going to use the Kryolan TV Paint Stick in the shade G165 and I'm gonna apply my highlight. 
So underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead area. Again, do this in a way that it suits your face. Then I'm taking again another beauty blender and I'm gonna blend out my highlight. This is the same beauty blender, by the way. <laughs> Talking about beauty blenders, I definitely need to get a new one. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to set my face using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. Yes, this works for me, as always. And I'm just gonna apply this mostly on the center of my face. Later on, I'm going to use a different powder for the perimeter of my face. I just love using this combination. It works for me. You know, just do you. Do whatever works for you. Now I'm going to use the Essence All About Matte Transparent Fixing Powder. And I'm taking a large powder puff and I'm going to apply that on the perimeter of my face. Once I've applied this, I'm going to let this set for about 3 minutes. And then I'm going to wipe it all off using a large powder brush. Now, of course, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Deep Dark and I'm going to apply that all around my face, so the perimeter of my face, with a powder brush by Morphe. I'm doing this to warm up my face because without it, I kind of feel like I look ashy. So, you know, it is what it is, but I just love using this powder. It has a beautiful finish and beautiful coverage also. Then for my contouring, I'm going to use the Morphe 9C Contour and Highlight Palette. And I'm using that shade right there and I'm just going to contour my face using a Morphe angled contour brush. Remember when I asked about recommendations for other contour kits or contour powders? Well, I found one. Besides the Morphe one, I found a mini contour kit by Freedom Makeup London and it's awesome. I will be using it in an upcoming tutorial. But anyway, for my highlight, I'm going to use that same Morphe 9C Contour and Highlight Palette and I'm using that shade right there and I'm applying it right underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, on my chin and on my forehead. And I'm using a MAC 138 brush to do this. I noticed I've been saying this wrong in my tutorials. Sorry you guys. So for my second highlight, I'm gonna use those shades together and it's of the Makeup Revolution London Golden Sugar Ultra Blush Palette and I'm gonna apply those on the highest points of my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose. And I'm using a MAC 116 brush to apply it. And for my blush, I'm using that shade right there. It's at the same Makeup Revolution London Ultra Blush Palette, and I'm gonna apply that on the apples of my cheeks, and then I'm softly blending it up. This is a very natural blush on me. Then finally, for my lips, I'm going to use the LA Splash Lip Couture Liquid Lipstick in the shade vampire and another quick shout out to la splash cosmetics because they posted my picture on their instagram page so thank you la splash i see you now that i've applied another coat of that lipstick i'm finally done so that was it for the tutorial i hope you enjoyed it as always so for this video i want to ask you guys do you want to see more dramatic looks like these yes or no so answer the poll i believe it's somewhere around here in the screen and that way I will know what type of looks you want to see on my YouTube channel. So if you want to follow me on my social media pages, then just type in Makeup by Nemisa on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching my videos and until the next one. Bye!